What's going on everybody? It's TVG Hydrate on here with another Pokemon Snakewood video. Let's see, what did we do last time, right? We fought this Taoist dude over here. We've also fought, you know, a couple of floating child heads and eye eyes. Those are always fun, aren't they? Anyways. Let's see. So up next we have to come over here to Route 16. We can grab ourselves an encounter here, and you know, there's also people that kind of want to kill us, so about good, about good a time as any to, you know, train up. You? Oh wait, you don't want to... It used to be a zombie, but either Glace or Dantalion has nailed it to the floor with its own amputated arm. Oh. So, what, is there just no zombies to fight in this area? It was once a zombie, but either Glace or Dantalion has carefully removed all of its bones through its nose, and now it can't move. Wow! Alright, so we're bound to encounter something soon. Oh, you don't fight either. It was once a zombie, but either Glace or Dantalion has buried its feet in the earth and cut off its hands. Now it is stuck and wobbles in a comical manner. Well, that's... that's nice. I guess. Are you another zombie? That, well, was a zombie. But Glace has torn its face off and tied its brain to a tree root. You know it was Glace who did it because its head is covered in its face leech spit. Alright, you... It's a strange demonic creature like a snail, except it uses this man's corpse as its shell. It looks like it's going to move very, very slowly. Hmm. Well? Oh! Are you Hyde? Yes? I am Dantalion, servant of the one you call Glyce. Alright, I didn't recognize you. You changed bodies. Yes, I have. What do you think of this one, by the way? Does it suit me? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Anyways, the master has, in has instructed me to remain outside and keep a lookout. He wants you to go inside. I shouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. Okay, thanks, Dantalion. You know what's really cool about this game? It actually gives you, the character, some dialogue. Ooh! Ooh, Pokemon. Pokemon encounter. Let's see who we got. A Whismur. Hey, that, that ain't half bad. Explouds are, you know, pretty strong, I think. So, we could use Robotnik to kind of snork its like Oh, wait. Look at that. Just, you know, a bit more. A little bit more. Ooh, yikes. Okay, let's switch over to weed. Stun spore. And, you know, all that just to eat it a Pokemon. Seems a bit overkill, yes, but whatever. Whismur, we caught it. Whismur, the Whisper Pokemon. Normally, Whismur's voice is very quiet, and it's barely audible even if one is paying close attention. However, if this Pokemon senses danger, it starts crying at an ear-splitting volume. Give it a nickname. Yes. Um, alright, so what do we call a sound-based baby? Charlie. Cause he's baby. Charlie was sent to the PC. Great. Alright, now we could grab the Pokemon. We found one Pokeball. Hey, it's the one that we used to replace the one that we used on um, the other one. Alright, let me just heal up uh, some Pokemon real quick. Robotnik. Weed. Alright. Now, Glyce, hide! You arrived just in time. Come over here and we'll talk further. Um. Yes? Do you know how demons are summoned, Hyde? No. Then I shall tell you. One sets up a suitable vessel for the demons to flow through from the pit. Then, one casts the appropriate spell. This girl here is the vessel. She is challenging the demons through. If I can break the spell on her, no more demons will appear. So what do I do? When the demons in the pit sense their portal to this world is being closed, they will flock towards it in hopes of getting through it before it closes. I need you to beat them back before they get through. Okay, I'm ready where you are. Very well. Take up your position, please, Hyde. This girl seems kind of familiar. Ah! Landon? May. Oh, she's gone shop shopping in Slateport with her sister. With her friend, Elise, you know, the cut man's daughter. 
Are you quite alright, Hyde? You appear to be swaying slightly. Yeah, I'm fine, I think. It's just a little flashback. I remember who this girl was. She's the Coven's daughter. I remember her. I'm ready to go now. Very well. I'll begin on working to break the spell. Watch out, I sense a demon coming through. Yikes, who do we got this time? Um, wow. Demon Belial. He's literally just a dude with grout on for an arm, huh? Alright. Anorith. Anorith is... Bug ground, if I remember correctly. So... We'll send in weed. And leech seed it. Very nice. Stun spore. Very nice. And absorb. Yeah. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yoink. Got it. Alright, Robotnik and we gained experience. Awesome. Weed's now level 12. And another Anorith. Oh. Dang. Alright, now the dude can't get stun spore. Shoot. Well, whatever. No worries. It dies. 400. Weed is now level 13. And now we cut our Nyakta. I, I, I don't know what that was. Oh. Alright. What did he say? He spoke in Hadian. He said something crude with the general meaning of, I dislike you intensely. Be careful. Here comes another one. Oh. Demon Osmodius. Sent out Anorith. What's with you guys and Anoriths? We win. Great. That's it. We're now level 15. Blish Kara Nyoktria. Kanboku. Once again, I have no idea what that means in Hadian. Hurry up, guys. I can't hold them off much longer. I've almost completed Ricard's Veld. Hide. Give me a moment more. There. Done it. What? Ah. Ah. <gasps> uh, yeah. I would like to know what just happened. It would appear that she was consumed by the energy released from ending of the spell. It is just as well. If she had not absorbed it, the energy would have killed us. Thank you for your invaluable assistance, Hyde. We will meet again one day. I found that profoundly disturbing. Still, I suppose I can't expect driving out demons to be a bed of roses. Now that they're driven out, I should continue my search for my brother and mate. Maybe someone in Verdant Turf knows something about them. Verdant Turf. Verdant Turf would be that way. But we have yet to catch a Pokemon over here. We could do that real quick. Seems like the dude moved. Nice. We can now check out what's in here. And it's the corpse of an old man. This man had his brains delicately scooped out through a hole in his skull the size of a ten, piece pen ten pence piece. You are beginning to suspect that zombies have an unusual sense of style when it comes to killing people. Loot the corpse? We got the gamble fish. Uh... What's, uh, what's the gamble fish? Gamble fish, a fish that doubles the money earned in battles. Not bad. Well, might as well catch the encounter now. And it's a tail oak. And it's another tail oak. Five minutes later. I have decided, screw it, we'll just, you know, get a different Pokemon, I guess. I guess we're off to Verdant Turf, right over here, right after this Pokemon. Alright. Verdant Turf Ruins. What? What happened here? This town is ruined. Ouch, is that- that hurt. What's with this flashback? That don't usually hurt as much. Ah. Pestilence. Ha! The boot is on the other foot now. I knew you couldn't stand against us. And now, all that remains is to bid you. Adieu. What happened? I must have passed out and fallen down the cliffs. Alicia? What was that? You, what are you doing here? You've interrupted me. I'll bring you to my boss. Oh, look, that's the boss, I guess. You! I remember you, you're... You're pestilence, but... From where do I know you? And why can't I remember anything about you? Other than your name. You! What are you doing here? I thought you were dead, destroyed along with that deadbeat town. But wait, you say you only remember my name? Yeah, that's right. Who are you, pestilence? At least I had some success. I may not have killed you, but the impact appears to have at least erased your memories. Needless to say, however, I, Pestilence, the only female member of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, cannot afford any loose ends. Horsemen Pestilence. Like to battle. 
it's a uh, molder. What in the ass? Okay, molder. I'm gonna guess you're a psychic type. Uh, a poison type at least. Grimer. You know. So, Psybeam? Okay. Yeah. Dang. Almost dead. There we go. Weed, tops, experience, sending quillfish. We're gonna stick with tops for a little bit longer. We got poison. This is fine. Water gun only dealt half health. So we're good. Another mold. We're gonna send in weed. Uh, leech seed. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Okay. We could send in tops. But he's tox- he's badly poisoned. So, Ziggy. Yeah, well, headbutt first. It, it, fl it flinched. Great. Great. Weed's now level 16. Weed is trying to learn Mega Drain. That is better than absorbed. Awesome. And that's it. We beat Pestilence. What? You certainly increase in power. We got 42, 48. Neat. No matter. We shall leave this base for now and rebuild ourselves another one. Come, Alicia. Okay, there she goes, but... I'm so sorry, Hyde. I didn't recognize you in that disguise. Please, forgive me for attacking you those times, but... Times have changed. I work for the horsemen now, and I can't show you any mercy. I won't fight you this time, but next time, I'll go all out against you. Alicia, wait! It's no use, she's not coming back. What's going on here? How do I know all these people? And why can't I remember anything about them? Wait a minute, what's that? We picked up the red thing. I remember what this is! It's a Pokedex! Hey, would you look at that? We got ourselves a Pokedex. Nice. Is this my brother's? He had one, I think. No, wait. He had completed his, I seem to remember. May had one that she didn't finish, didn't she? So this is hers. But what was Pestilence doing with May's Pokedex? Hmm. I probably stand a good chance of finding out if I continue on my search. For now, I'll use this Pokedex myself. Um. It's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we have... Do we have anything that can, you know, heal you? No, no, no. Dang, I really don't feel like using a full restore. Okay, just gotta be mindful of how much. Yeah, no, there's nothing over here. Um, how's how's he doing? Oh, Tops is at 10 HP. Actually, let's let's uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just give it a light potion to hold off the poison. Okay, how much now? 24, 24. We, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. The Pokephone is ringing. Huh? Who is it? Hey, hi, it's me, Professor Birch. Listen, I've news for you. I managed to reprogram an old military satellite, and I've got a working connection with Duford Town. Because it's an island, it appears they're completely unaffected by the plague. What does this have to do with me? Your brother and May were seen in Duford a few weeks ago. You should go and investigate. Okay, how do I get there? Here's the tricky bit. You'll need an HM Surf and a Balance Match to get there. I don't know where you can find the HM, but I know there are a couple of survivors from Norman's gym. I think they might have a badge or two lying around. Look for them near Rustboro and ask. Okay, we will do. See ya, Birch. I'll call you later. Good luck. Okay, Rustboro. That's the town we were just at. Rustboro Town. Here we are. Now, Pokemon Center. And we're good. So, we need to find some people from Norma's gym. Uh, Pokemon Center, you see Cutman's house. Well, we, we now know what happened to his daughter. Here's this man, someone who studies mushroom Pokemon. Okay. Where... Where would the survivors be? He said that they're somewhere in Rustboro. So, I don't know, maybe... In here, in the gym? Nothing. Nothing in the gym. Oh, wait. Near, not in. We still don't have cut anyways. Uh, shoot. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, where are they? Oh, hello. It's a severed head. Wow. I don't know where to go. I have... I've searched every building. Wait. You. No. I need to go up here, but how? do I get cut in the first place? What if there was something I missed back in Lily Cove? 
Oh, great. More Whismers. Aha! Yes, there was. Okay, it was a zombie made completely hizzy, dizzy by the heat of the lava. Its dry body is on the verge of catching fire, so perhaps you'd best move it away. Uh, where are these pointers pointing at? Where do I go? Here? Wait, 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 wait. There was one more route. This way. What's over here? Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, we're at the Charizard! This Charizard appears to be enjoying the heat here. You think about catching it, but as it has a collar on its neck, you decide it belongs to someone else and leave it alone. Yeah, alright then. What the hell? This isn't a cave. Where the hell are we? I'm Larry the Looter. Loot so much stuff, you could look at my stuff. Okay. You know, some of these items aren't half bad. Let me actually sell all the Pokeballs. Do I sell them? Nah, let's, you know, sell the Nuggets. I mean, if Ziggy found them, then fair game, you know. Let's grab ourselves 10 Great Balls for now. Nest Ball's working on weaker Pokemon. Super Potions. Super Potions would be nice. Probably, you know, 10. Repel, Special Plus, Fluffy Tail. Yeah, we're good. Alright. So, what do you say? Isn't Endless Plains interesting? I came here to visit. Is that where we are? The Endless Plains? Welcome to Endless Plains. Thank you for visiting. Please stay within the force field. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It's a very small space. Not really endless, huh? <gasps> Wait, HMO1? Cut? Oh my god. Oh! Yo! We can... Okay, well, we have to teach it to Ziggy, considering he's the only one that can learn it. Te forget Growl, forget Growl. Ah! Ah! Now we can go right above Rustboro! Which... You know... Nice! Nice! Alright, so, let's heal up. And, well, seeing as how that's the... Basically, the second gym we're gonna fight. This seems like a good enough place to stop for today. Thank you all for watching. I don't know, leave a like, subscribe for more. Next time, we're gonna face off against, I don't know, the normal type gym, I guess. Alright. Thank you, and, uh, bye bye.